Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lee and Boof and Sarah and Joe. And today, Sarah is going to tell you all about where we're at today. We are located at Skidway State Park, Skidway Island State Park in Georgia. And we are going down a bunch of pathways just to see what we find along the way. So hopefully you join us. She found this beautiful place and we are loving it. And we know you will too. Come check it out. We just bring Joe along just because. I just, I'm just eye candy. I was going to say eye candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's check it out. Okay, guys, as we take a little tour of the Skidaway Island State Park, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about this place. It is very near the historic area of Savannah, so quick drive and you're there in a flash. And it's also less than an hour's drive from what most people know as Tabby Island, which is also a popular destination in the area. The Skidaway Island State Park consists of 588 acres that house a lot of stuff. They have campsites, they have picnic shelters, playgrounds, volleyball court, over six miles of hiking trails, and so very much more. There are four main hiking trails within the park. The first is called the Sandpaper Trail Loop. This is listed as their most popular trail and is one mile long. Although bicycles are not permitted on this trail, you can take animals as long as they are leashed and of course you pick up after them. The second trail that they have is called the Big Ferry Trail. This trail actually gives you the option to be a two mile trail or a three mile trail, depending on how you're feeling, how adventurous you wanna be. If you do decide to do the three mile trail, this does include what they call the Earthworks Loop. A bonus about the Big Ferry Trail is it does welcome pets and bicycles. The third trail that they have is called the Avian Loop. This is also another one mile loop. Although this trail doesn't specify if it's pet or bicycle friendly per the website that I've been able to locate, I would recommend checking with the park before going out just to be safe. The state park website we're going to have listed in the description box below which does include a map of all the trails so if you're in the area i highly recommend you check this place out the last trail that they have is called the connector trail and you can imagine why with that kind of name this trail actually connects both the sandpiper and avian loop trails to the big ferry trail so if you're feeling really adventuresome, you can have a nice little hike on your hands. As with any state park, you should always leave it as you found it. Don't take anything, don't leave anything. This park is well maintained, beautiful landscape. The trails are all easy to walk. There's no overgrowth, there's no hazards. It really is a user-friendly trails. On a side note, I will tell you in this video, I really, really was having a lot of fun with the 360 camera and trying different angles and different views, different shots. Um, it was absolutely a blast. Now, in this particular clip you're watching, you should always keep the camera going when the booth is in action because you never know what she's going to do. Now, as you can see here, she easily is getting up on this tree stump that is tree that I guess it's not stump, but tree that has fell down. And she was up there for a good couple minutes, so I was like, "Well, I can turn the camera off. It's okay. There's nothing that's worth recording here." And I swear to you, no sooner that I turn the camera off, she goes to get down and she rips her shirt on the tree, just rips up the side of it. And I'm like, "Why? Why did I shut the camera off?" I knew better, but you can see why she climbed up there because the view 
was absolutely amazing. Yes, I did terrorize this little guy with the camera. It was a lot of fun. I never touched him, but he did not like me being on his beach and he did not like me chasing him with the camera. But, you know, he was so cute and so tiny. We spent the day here walking around, laughing, taking photos and exploring the trails. But you can easily spend more or less time exploring depending on your schedule. We had the whole day available to us, so we took advantage of it and really just took our time and sightseed and really took in the surroundings and enjoyed them. There is a parking fee per the website of $5, so be prepared for that. We visited in the middle of July, and although we didn't personally experience any COVID-related issues, we would recommend that you make sure the park is open and they don't have any special restrictions if you do plan on visiting this year. Again, if you're interested, we're going to leave the website information in the description box below so you can check this place out. So guys, let me know what you what you think of the different angles that I shot and the different the different scenes. I'm interested in, in getting your thoughts and your input on this. I'm still very, very new to the 360 world and there is so very much that I have to learn, but it is so much fun learning and doing all these different things. And sometimes I don't know how they're gonna turn out. Sometimes I don't think about them as well as I would like to to get better shots or better angles, but I'm learning. It's, it's a learning curve, but I really feel like some of the shots that I got really made you feel more like you were there with us. So let me know in the comments below what you thought. Okay guys, this is like one of my favorite shots. When I was doing all of the editing that I did, this one here I think was probably hands down one of my favorite shots. Check this out. I don't know why, but I thought that was such an amazing shot. Maybe it's just me, but, and again with this one, I feel like this one really just, boom, just kind of captures it, you know? the capabilities of the 360 camera and to get in areas that you can't normally get is just you know wow I, I don't know how to describe it it's just amazing this is the observation tire that they have uh, per their website there's a lot of animals that can be seen from this observation tire if you're patient uh, i wasn't that patient <laughs> so we stayed up there for a short little bit, but then we obviously, by the time we got to this point, we was all pretty tired and very, very hungry. So we didn't stay too long, but it was some amazing views up there. And I do want to say again, a huge shout out to Joe and Sarah for finding this place. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. We had such a great time with the both of you. It was so much fun and thank goodness they packed the way they do because otherwise we'd have probably been dead on the trail somewhere having died of starvation because i'm pretty sure short of ourselves the only thing we remembered to bring was our camel packs and of course all of our vlogging equipment and cameras but you know no food nothing nothing of essentials like that that you would need thankfully they took us in like they was our parents and made sure we didn't die on the trail and made it out to see another day so thank you, Joe and Sarah. We love you and we appreciate you so very much.